All right, what is going on, guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. And today we are going to be taking on the legendary Goku event with the most powerful entity in the entire Dragon Ball universe. Of course, I am referring to none other than our Lord and Savior, Shugesh. So, without further ado, let's jump in and get this run started. Of course, we're recording this video in, let's say, a very interesting time in the history of the world, the history of the human race. So I hope you guys are taking good care of yourselves out there. Stay safe. And uh, we're going to get through this together, guys, with the power of Dokkan and also the blessing from our Lord, Chukesh. All right. No, in all seriousness, though, in all seriousness, though, um... Definitely take care of yourselves. And Shugesh, even though he's not like amazing, is actually a very, very good unit, even outside of the um, Team Bardock team, which obviously we haven't fully assembled yet on Global. Actually, I'm Global and JP, but yeah, he's very good on the uh, Bardock team. But outside of the Bardock team, he can be a really, really good tank because. He increases his own defense every single time he supers. So by the end of this event, I'm expecting him to have a lot of defense and he should help us a lot in taking care of the mastered UI Goku. So it's gonna take a while to get there, but uh, that's really where Shugesh is really, really gonna shine. And uh, yeah, guys, we're just gonna do this today, do this run, have a little fun with uh, our boy Shugesh. And tomorrow, Actually, no, not tomorrow. So if you guys didn't know, I've been doing the grind for every single member of the free-to-play team Bardock over the course of the week. But I think we're taking a break today and tomorrow because there's no new stage. And then Borgos comes out on Sunday. So if you guys are interested and pop into that stream, then wait for Sunday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then on Monday, we're getting Tora. And then we'll have the full team. We'll get the uh, LR team Bardock. And we'll be able to run that full free to play Bardock team, which I'm super, super stoked for. Okay, here we go. So Shugesh has had one super so far, and he's already up to 100. No, sorry, that's uh, that's Broly. No, he's already up to 76,488 defense, which is not bad at all. I'm going to put him in the front here just to see how well he can tank these attacks. Maybe we'll take a super, which would actually be pretty good to test his uh, tanking ability early on. So here we go, 76,000 defense at the moment, taking a regular hit for 102 damage. Unfortunately, his attack doesn't go up any higher. He gets attack and defense plus 90% on his passive initially, and uh, he raises defense by, I believe, it's either, it's either 30 or 20 or 30%. I forgot which one, which one it was, but either way, he raises defense every single time. I would assume it's 30% because it seems to be going pretty fast, like going up pretty fast. But I can't confirm. Either way though, he is a very, very good tank in longer events. So uh, like I said, he's going to be pretty good against the mastered UI Goku. All right, first stage taken care of. Moving on to the Super Saiyan Goku now. And you know what I want to try to do actually is get the Fizz Vegeta and the Shugesh together because they link pretty well. But... That would mean I would have to take this guy out of rotation, which is not ideal, but you know, since it's so early on, I think we'll be okay. All right, that seemed like a huge waste of orbs to give like 20 orbs to Super Saiyan Blue Goku, or sorry, Vegeta, but not much I could have done there. It's not a big deal. All right, here we go. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys are having a good day. I know a lot of you guys are uh, pretty much just stuck at stuck at home at the moment, um, self quarantining, if you will, and uh, there's really not much to do. So these days, if you're free, which a lot of you guys are, I'm gonna be putting out a lot of videos on the channel to help, at least try to help keep you guys entertained over the course of this crazy, crazy time in our history. If you think about it, um, in, in in a couple of years, or right, like five years, ten years, maybe twenty years down the line, we're gonna look back. At this point in history and just remember like yo that was a that was a crazy time man that was a crazy crazy time to be alive obviously right now we're living through it and it's just kind of like just kind of life right there's not much to i mean i guess maybe some people are reflecting but there's not much to reflect on at the moment when you're living through it but 
like I said, in a couple years or 10 years, 20 years down the line, you're talking to uh, either your family members or friends or maybe younger people like your kids or something like that, you're gonna be like, yo, you guys don't know about this, but uh, there was this crazy time in the world where everybody was basically stuck at home because there was this crazy virus going around and I guess the full impact still has to be seen. Um, I'm really hoping it's not like too terrible as far as like death toll and all that stuff goes, but um, you know, I'm not gonna get into that because I'm not really an expert, not really a professional, if you will. And all I'm going off of is like what I'm hearing from my friends, from my family, from the news. And uh, you know, sometimes you don't really know what to believe. So anyways, Anyways, enough of that. Just uh, stay safe out there, guys. That's my main concern. I just want you guys to take good care of yourselves. I know a lot of people are not taking this stuff seriously, and I think you really should, man. I think you really should. Even if you're like a young person, you know, like me, like I'm 20, 25, right? So I didn't forget my age for a second. I was like, yo, what, what? How old am I? 20, 23, 20, 26? I'm 25 and uh, fully healthy, you know, no pre-existing conditions, nothing really to be concerned about. But even then, um, my main concern is not really like my own, yo, what, what happened? Hey, let me fix this. Oh, we're good, nope, we're not good. I need, to, I need to change my Elgato connector like today. Actually, I should have changed it like a month ago, but uh, I've been slacking a little bit. I apologize, guys. You know what, there's not that much exciting stuff going on. There wasn't that much exciting stuff going on, so it's okay, you didn't miss too much. Anyways. Getting back to the main topic at hand, my main concern is not really like my own personal safety because I know that like as far as risk goes for me is not super high, but I have like my little brother, right? Phoenix, he's like nine years old. And also, um, you know, I have some family members, just like friends around or like parents of friends, stuff like that, who are older or younger that are definitely at higher risk so my main concern is getting them sick and potentially putting them at risk right so uh i think that's something people need to be more mindful of um i don't know how this became a psa i'm not trying to make it that so i'm gonna stop talking about it but you guys get the point man i'm concerned about you i'm concerned about your loved ones so just uh stay safe stay safe okay getting back to the dokkan aspect that was a weird tangent we went on but as you guys know man these uh Videos don't really have a agenda. I just kind of start recording and I start playing the game and I just start talking, man. That's that's pretty much how it works. It's like um it's like a stream, except instead of talking to people in the chat, I'm just talking to myself, which sometimes makes it a little bit hard, honestly, to uh, come up with things to say. But we're doing okay today, even though the actual topic at hand is kind of random or just unrelated. Anyways, I uh, hope you guys are having good luck on the Bardock banner if you guys are still summoning or maybe you already finished summoning. If you guys haven't seen my summoning video yet, I would uh, advise that you go check it out. It is live on the channel at the moment. And all I'll say about that one is um, it's probably going to be pretty entertaining to you. It's probably going to be pretty entertaining to you because I got trolled like really, really hard in that video. It was not fun for me. All right, uh, minor, minor spoiler, I guess. I mean, given my tone and everything, I'm sure you can tell. It didn't work out the way I, I wanted it to, but the way it didn't work out was just so unique where I was like, I'm, I'm having a hard time believing these summons are completely random. It was just so crazy, like what I ended up pulling consecutively in multis that like, this can't be random. Like somebody at Bandai has to be has to be trolling me, you know? So go check it out, guys. It was a fun video. And uh, you'll probably find, I mean, it was, it was probably up there already, but a little like link to it at the top of the video, maybe a couple seconds ago or something like that. We'll see, maybe I'll forget, who knows. Anyways, uh, this is a pretty tanky rotation here. As you can see, Shugech is building up defense very, very fast. 129,000 defense already, 102K for the uh, Vegeta, and then 127K for the exchange Goku and Gohan. So let's uh, give him these orbs right here. And Shugesh actually, I mean, he doesn't build attack, but after we linked him up with the Vegeta, he gets a little bit more attack from Lynx. So he's gonna be around 600K. There we go. Not bad, not bad. 600K, 
And, you know, damage-wise, we're still not doing so much, but we're tanking pretty good. 78k for the super seems like a bit, right? It seems like a bit, but it would have been a lot more if it was against another unit that doesn't build defense like the Shugesh. And trust me, in a couple more rotations, once we get to, like, even probably against the STR UI, UI Goku, I'm going to suspect that uh, Shugesh is going to be tanking really, really well. Yo, one one thing I struggle with all the time, and I don't know if you noticed like a minor pause before I said Shugesh that time, is every single time I want to say Shugesh, I catch myself before I do it, but I like, my mind wants to say Goresh. I don't, I don't know why it is. I mean, obviously they sound kind of similar. I'm gonna heal up here real quick, just be safe. Um, like my mind just said, like it, it, at, at the tip of my tongue, it's like Goresh. And I'm like, it's not Goresh, because Goresh is the guy on YouTube. He's the guy on Twitter. He's the the guy that gives us all our translations for new JP characters and all that stuff. So it's not him. Great guy, by the way. Huge shout out to him. Go check him out. But um, it's just like, I don't know. Every single time I want to say Shugesh, man, my mind says Goresh. And I'm like, don't say Goresh. Don't say Goresh. Uh, but yeah, okay. Shugesh. It's Shugesh. Shout out to Goresh, though. Um, the funny thing is, and I don't know if you guys, I mean, if you haven't been with the channel for a long time, you probably don't know this, but one of my initial, like, most popular videos, one, one of the initial videos that got, like, thousands and thousands of views on this channel when I was very, very small, like, I'm talking under 500 subs or something like that, right? So about two years ago, um, when I was just, like, I want to say, like, coming up, but at the same time, it's not like I really made it so i don't want to make it sound like that but the channel was very small at the time and one of the first videos i put out yo we're about to do a token attack with <laughs> with shugesh okay let me focus for a second and then we'll get back to the story all right one two three four five six boom all good okay so one of the first videos on the channel was actually me talking about goresh and at the time i didn't really know who goresh was i just knew that he was a guy that was like on pretty active on the uh Dokkan reddit reddit the subreddit and someone had made a post talking about like the unluckiest player in Dokkan, right and it was talking about goresh who spent like five thousand stones going for kid boo and like didn't pull a copy or uh, something like three thousand five thousand stones and then like five thousand stones to pull one copy of uh omega shenron the biz one and so on and so forth right so I was like, that's a crazy story. I want to share it with my subs. I want to share it with the Dokkan community. So I made the video and it ended up getting, I think, somewhere in the range of... I actually don't remember, to be honest. I don't remember exactly how many views it got, but it, it had to be like either... I want to say 20,000 or 30,000. I might be getting it mixed up with another video. Maybe it was like less than that. Maybe it was more than that. But either way, it was at a time where my channel was getting a couple hundred views per video. At the most, if, if a video at that time got a thousand views, I was like lit. Like I was so happy, right? So <laughs> yeah, anyways, um, it was that video. And I don't know if Koresh himself has seen the video. I kind of wish he, uh, I, I, I kind of hope that he didn't because it, it like, you know, it wasn't my best work, I'll be honest. <laughs> and I think my style of delivery and everything like that has come a long way since then. But um, it was just like, I also feel kind of bad for like talking about him in a video without like having asked him first or anything like that, right? Like obviously these days, if I'm going to make a video like that, I would ask the person first. But at the time, I just, I, I don't know who he was. I was just like doing the YouTube thing as, as, a, as a hobby. And now it's become a little bit more serious. It's still very much a hobby, but it's also something that I can make a good amount of income from. So, uh, <laughs> anyways, man, Goresh, if you're out there, if you've seen the seen the video, I guess let me know in the comments what you think, or just let me know in DMs, man, because uh, we kind of talk a little bit these days. Not not a ton, but you know, we talk, we talk. So, uh, yeah, random story time, man. Random story time. <laughs> I should get back to making those videos again. Just like, you know, random stories from Dokkan, whether it's about someone getting a majorly shafted or um, other Dokkan related stories. I can't really think of anything at the moment, but there must be other things, right? Other topics I could make videos about. 
think about it. I'll think about it. There's also that series that I started called uh, Dokkan History, where I go back into the history of Dokkan and talk about like either controversial topics, like subjects or things that happened, or just in general talk about like, you know, just like how far Dokkan has come as a game, right? Like banners or anniversaries, all that stuff. And I literally only made one video for that series. Like in the video, I was like, yo, this is gonna be a new series on the channel where I talk about the history of Dokkan and crazy things that have happened. And I think in that video, I talked about the to be released leader skills for uh, Gogeta and Vegeta, no, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and Phase Omega Shenron. Remember when they first came out on Global, we didn't have categories yet. So instead of, um, you know, giving us categories early or delaying the release of these characters, they decided instead to release the characters but give them no leader skills. Literally, like, this is real, guys. This is real. Go watch the video if you haven't seen it yet. But they literally put to be released as the leader skill for both characters, as opposed to, I think what would have made more sense, honestly, is to just bring categories to global earlier. Or maybe if that didn't make sense financially, then just delay the release of the characters, give us something else at the time. I'm sure people would have been a little bit pissed. But at least it would have, been, would have been better than what they actually ended up doing, which is the 2B release leader skills. That's just my opinion. That is just my opinion. I felt like it was a really, really dumb move. And obviously I made that clear in the video. So if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, you guys uh, weren't around for that. Because that was a couple years ago, right? It was like two, two and a half years ago or something like that. So uh, if you're one of those people that weren't there and you want to experience it, not firsthand, but like third hand, I guess, from me, from someone that was going through it, then uh, I would say check it out because it was uh, it was also a crazy time. Not as crazy as right now, because obviously what's going on right now has real world implications. It's it's actual real life, but still crazy in the context of Dokkan. So I, I'll be honest, I haven't really been paying attention to the gameplay at all, but it seems like we're doing pretty good. We use the one item and we might not have to item for the rest of the event considering how tanky our guys are getting um although you know what vegeta like the super saiyan blue vegetas don't stack defense so if they are going to take a lot of attacks then i will probably have to item just to be safe but i will try my best to conserve as many items as possible i'm definitely not going to use all of them um and you know with shugesh on our team it's really not necessary uh all right, here we go. Super Saiyan Blue Goku, and then the UI Goku, and then MUI Goku. So far, about 18 minutes in, making a pretty good progress here. Uh, wow, should we catch already at 217,000 defense, guys? That's kind of wild. It's kind of wild. And what's uh, Scatter Vegeta at? Scatter Vegeta is at 104k. Okay, so kind of low, but it's going to go up there. And 116k is pretty much where SSBE is going to be the entire time, so... You gotta be a little bit careful with him, even though um, he's still gonna be able to take a hit pretty well, pretty well. But if we're gonna take a super here, I hope it's Shugesh, so Shugesh can at least sh like show off his tanking, his defensive capabilities here. So we got two supers there, um, so building defense twice. We're not taking any damage from normals. A super, I would I would assume, is still gonna do. Couple tens of K, but nothing to be concerned about either. All right, no supers here. I guess it's gonna be Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta that takes the super, which obviously is the least ideal in this situation, but it is what it is, man. It is what it is. And it's not gonna kill us, and that's all that matters to me. All that matters to me is that we don't die because we're making such good progress, and we've also had such good conversations here, I think. I mean, you can let me know in the comments if <laughs> what we talked about um, was good conversation. But I felt like it was it was you know interesting. I, I thought I thought I thought the stuff we talked about was interesting. I feel like maybe that little um, you know virus talk in the beginning, that safety talk in the beginning was kind of random. But as I said, man, I don't I don't really have an agenda. We just come in, we talk, and if we go to a weird place, then we go to a weird place, man. That's just how it goes sometimes. Yo, let me know what's going on with you guys, all right? Let me know in the comments down below if, uh, you know, your, what, what you're doing essentially to keep yourself sane, 
because a lot of you guys probably are very used to like going outside, going to restaurants, going to the movies, or just for work, like literally leaving the house to go, for, to go to work, right? Taking public transit, all that stuff. And now that all that is kind of taken away from you, how does it feel? Okay. Has it been hard for you? Has it been easy for you? Maybe for some people, it, it's, it's a blessing, right? They're like, yo, this is awesome. I get, to, I get to just chill at home, maybe do some work, maybe not, depending on what uh, line of work you're in, I guess. And just let me know, how are you keeping yourself sane during this crazy, crazy time? For me personally, as you guys know, the YouTube game doesn't stop, right? I mean, I never really had to leave the house anyways when I was doing YouTube stuff at least. And it doesn't really change anything now. Like, I'm still... You know, at home, sitting in front of the computer, making videos like I'm doing right now. So, hasn't really affected me too much. I do miss, you know, going to the gym. That's the main thing, because the past couple of months, uh, I started, I joined a new gym. You guys might know it, it's called Lifetime. And they have basketball courts, which I've been missing in my life for the longest time. Like, I played a lot of basketball in middle school, high school, and uh, in college too, I would play at least a couple times a week at the school rec center but since i graduated like two years ago or is it coming up on three now damn i'm getting old it's coming up on three years out of school right so uh after i left school i didn't really have access to a regular court right so i would go like you know maybe once every couple of months go to like either a rec center or my friend sometimes gets me like his uh his friends or his girlfriend sometimes, like student ID, so I use the student ID to get into a university uh, gym to play. But it was very infrequent, it was very, very rare, and I really didn't get to play much. But then I joined the new gym, and uh, from there I was playing like three, four times a week. Or actually when I first started, I was playing as much as six times a week. And I killed my legs, yo, my legs were sore every single day, but it was worth it. But now, the gym closed. Right? It was open for a while actually, they only closed a couple days ago, but since it closed, I've been really, really going through withdrawals from uh, basketball, and what's even worse is that there's no NBA anymore. Yo, the, the NBA is officially suspended, I mean it's been for a while, and so like my only one potential, you know, source of basketball has been taken away as well, and I know a lot of people out there are like watching highlights, or, like old highlights from like you know, old finals, old playoffs, all that stuff, but let's be real, it's not the same. It's not the same as watching a live game. Not even, not even close. Uh, Alright, 270,000, holy balls. 270,000 defense from uh, Shugesh. That's amazing. Almost said Goresh again. Almost said Goresh again, but I didn't. I caught myself. So... I am completely, completely not concerned about him. Now, the only one I'm concerned about is Vegeta because as you can see he's 120,000 defense and he also has quite a few attacks um, directed at him so I think what we're gonna do is pop the Icarus just to be safe and also there's the type disadvantage we know this UI Goku hits really really hard when he supers especially so we don't want to really oh we're good actually we're good look at that wow even even with the, the Icarus, we still took 50k? Damn. Damn, yo. That's crazy, dude. At least it was on Trugesh, man. If it was on Vegeta, that would have been really bad. But, um, that was a good choice, actually. That was a good, good decision. Uh, part of me was like, we probably don't need to item. I'm probably just being, like, paranoid. Like, being too, um, safety oriented I guess I don't know what the term is I can't think of it right now but you know what you know what I mean like I felt like maybe I could I could get away with not using an item but after seeing that no way no freaking way the item was such a good call oh man all right still doing okay though still making good progress I never said this was gonna be a no item run so I'm okay with using items I just want to conserve them as much as possible so we don't use too many items right still I still want to um, have a lot of items left over by the very end here. Alright, we're getting supered again. What's this gonna do? 114. Yo. Yo, freaking Namek Goku, man. This guy is so good. And this AGL Broly, too. This AGL Broly, I've said for a long time, I'm 
honestly very surprised that he is not a Dokkan Fest exclusive unit because if they had released him as a Dokkan Fest unit, um, you know, with like the capabilities post DZA, I don't think anybody really would have questioned it. I think people would have been like, okay, yeah, he's just a really good Dokkan Fest exclusive unit. He's not, he's not top, top tier. You know, he's not going to be like the best TUR in the game, but he's really freaking good. Like he is phenomenal. So yeah, I, I'm I'm pretty surprised that they just made him a regular, you know, non Dokkan Fist unit, which is good because he's easier to pull that way. But he's amazing. He really is. Alright, so Yeah, Vegeta's back. Um I think we're we're just gonna be very, very, very safe on this uh on this stage because once we get to MUI Goku, it's it's over, right? Like there's nothing to be worried about. But before that the weakness for this team is definitely the second last stage where we have um, multiple Fizz units on one rotation and this dude just, he just hits so hard. And yeah, look at that, still 15k even after all those additional supers, even after the additional defense we gained, we're still taking a super for 15k with an Icarus active. Um, I mean obviously we would have survived that either way, it wouldn't have hit us that hard, but I'm just saying like it's better to be safe than sorry. It's better to be, to be safe and sorry. I do not want to start this video over again. And I, I would have had to. Because I'm not going to leave like a 20 or 30 minute clip in the beginning where I failed. And then go back in and record another 30 minutes and make this like an hour long video. It just doesn't make sense. So yeah, safety first. Safety first. Alright, let's check these guys' defenses. 314k. Damn. 314k, 175k. For um, for Broly is really good as well, so we don't have to worry about these guys at all. And wait, what's uh, Goku at? Goku and Goku and Gohan is at 207k, so that's not bad either. I do want that to be a little bit higher by the time we get to UI Goku, because I think this is the only tech unit on the team, right? Yeah, only tech unit on the team. And if anybody is going to get us killed. It's gonna be this one, so let's try to get their defense a little bit higher if we can, and we should be okay. We should be okay. Yeah, of the members on the um, free-to-play Team Bardock team or Team Bardock squad, this guy as well as the support ghost or Tora. I think it's Tora, right? That also stacks defense. I think Tora might stack attack and defense, or is it Borgos? One or the other, one or the other. Borgos or Tora also stacks defense and attack. Um, I believe. I could be completely wrong about that, but that's what I remember seeing. So these two are gonna be really good for this event. As you can see, uh, Shugech is already doing really, really well defensively at least. And he's really gonna shine once we get over this uh, STR stage here. But let's see what defense is at now. 305,000. Look at that. 305k. Pretty much on par with the Namek transforming Goku as far as defense goes. Obviously, um, <laughs> non defense Wait. Is Icarus still active this time? I don't know. Okay, let me, let me, let me just pop an Android 8, you know, uh, build some extra defense. Yeah, let's see what he's at now. 468,000. Okay, so I'm going to put... Oh no, I already gave Shugesh orbs. I should have put Shugesh in the middle. There's more attacks there. Okay, I'm not like super concerned, but I am a little bit worried. I think, oh, we're good, we're good. Okay, this is going to do nothing. Wait, what? How does that work? Oh no, we had, oh, it's because we had uh, Icarus before. Yeah, it was damage reduction as opposed to defense before. That actually makes sense. Now for a second, I was like, I'm pretty sure we have more defense than last time, but last time we had damage reduction, so that makes sense, actually. Okay. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Um, but yeah, like, Shugesh doing really well. I think the Tora can do really well here, too, even though he is a tech type. So if it is Tora, then it, it, it might be a little bit concerning at the end of this event. Uh, but, I mean, if you're building up defense every single turn, he should still do okay all right we should get over the stage now we've been on this for too long this is usually the one that takes me the longest actually um believe it or not 
I mean, if you guys have done this event, you probably you probably understand that like it, it's just because you you bring a lot of fizz units. At least for the most part, I do. I bring at least like two or three fizz units on my team to take care of the MUI Goku at the end. But then you have type disadvantage on the second stage, so this is really the most dangerous stage. Just, you just gotta be really careful here. But we do have a couple of AGL units as well, so we're gonna probably get through this here. If not, then next next turn for sure. Next turn for sure. Wait, he doesn't have a super? Oh, I didn't give him enough orbs. I did not even notice that. All right, cool. Ooh, 72K, not terrible, not great. Not terrible, not great. Okay, let's see here, guys. So, 323 k defense for Shugesh. Um, he should be okay. Should be okay. Vegeta is a little bit of a concern. But, I think Vegeta can actually finish him off. Yeah, as you can see, no items active this time. No items active. Double digit damage from the STR UI Goku. That's awesome. All right, don't super my Vegeta. Please, Goku, don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, okay, additional super. So we're taking, we're doing two supers. So we're, we're stacking defense twice here. Should be over. Oh no, there we go. Okay, he's dead. <laughs> Had a little bit of a scare there. A little bit of a scare there. I was, I was worried, man. I'm not gonna lie. All right, all right. Uh, let's put Goku there, 317,000 defense. Um, okay, we'll give him one STR orb. We'll take all of these AGL orbs, heal up a little bit. And oh yeah, we can also super here, perfect. Yo, if you guys didn't know, this is something that like, Dokkan literally does not tell you ever. Like there's no tutorial for it or anything in the game. Um, basically, the higher defense you have with a unit, the like like the higher the, their defense is on the stage the more they'll heal when you give them orbs of their same type right so for example oh my god damn damn it that sucks anyways as you can see here uh, with the uh str goku he has a ton of defense right so if i gave him a lot of str orbs he would have healed up a lot same thing with the uh agl broly he doesn't have as high defense but even then when we gave him the AGL orbs, we got a good amount of healing, and that's because of his high defense. So if you guys um, didn't take advantage of that in the past, then take advantage of that now, because that's actually very, very important to know, and it's something that I feel like they should tell us in some kind of tutorial in this game, but uh, they just haven't for some reason. Look at that. Okay, so we gave Shukash like two or three orbs, and we healed up a ton that time. 341,000 defense. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. And if we give Vegeta these orbs, look at that. Yo, we're almost healed back to full. And then we'll give Vegeta, SSB, E Vegeta these orbs as well. Um, ooh, actually, there's a lot of attacks at the end there. Ooh, I'm a little bit concerned. I'm a little bit worried now. Yo, please don't super SSB, E at the end, man. That's going to be bad. Oh, there we go. That's good. That's good. Okay. So, I think normals are still going to hit us pretty hard, but... Um, it's a super that you're always, always concerned about. So yeah, 22k, no items active. Obviously, this Vegeta is excellent for LG as well, if you guys didn't know. So, yeah, he's great, he's great. Okay. Okay. Yeah, dodge the attacks, that's cool. Just don't do too much damage. Ooh, 35k. Yeah, a super would have annihilated us. <laughs> a super would have annihilated us. All right, um, I think it's time to... We don't really need to item, I think. But maybe just to be safe, we should. Okay, so one orb healed us for about 30k right there. Two orbs for Broly healed up for 15k. And two orbs for uh, Exchange Goku and uh, Gohan gave us about 15k as well, or 20k, I think. So yeah, defense. Um, higher defense equals higher healing. Keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. And the only, only reason I'm saying this is because I didn't know that before. Like literally before I saw it in a video about maybe six months ago or something like that. And I forgot whose video it was, so I apologize. I can't, I can't give the shout out. But um, I saw it in a video. Someone say, yo, 
the more HP you have, or the, sorry, the more defense you have, the more HP you'll heal with the same type orbs. And this was just something that was completely foreign to me. I had no idea this was even a thing. Oh god. Oh god. Yo, be gentle. Be gentle. Ooh, that was close. That was close. Damn, yo. <laughs> so, <laughs> we're still not safe, eh? We're still not safe. Okay, I'm gonna pop the Android 8. And let's uh, pop this guy over there. Uh, ooh, wow, 538k from Shugesh, 403k for Vegeta. We're good to go there. Um, just one attack at the end. Just one attack at the end for SSBE. He can probably take that one. I mean, if it ends up being a super, that could be a problem, but even if it is a super, we probably have enough defense to tank it well. Yeah, no damage at all, man. No damage at all for Shugesh. Shugesh is basically invincible now. He's basically a iron wall or steel wall. Platinum wall. What, what's stronger? Uh, uh, diamond wall, right? Diamond, strongest material in the universe, or not? Not universe in the world on Earth. Is it diamond or is it something else? What's harder than diamond? I've always been told, and this could be wrong, a diamond is the strongest substance on Earth. So, I'm sure there's something else, but uh, that's just what I've what I've heard. Uh, okay, 547k, 262k, uh, and 175k. Once again, as long as the final attack is not a super, we should be good to go. Uh, wow, still not a no orbs for Vegeta. Oh yeah, no, this is gonna be fine. Watch this do five damage. Let's see, let's see, five damage. I'm calling it right now. 58, okay, so a little bit more, but not that much more, not that much more. Oh man, stop dodging. Yo, UI, you know you're gonna die, man. Stop delaying it, it doesn't matter. All right, just take the L that is handed to you by our Lord. Shugesh, all right? It, it, we're not blaming you. We're not blaming you because nobody can stand up to the might of Shugesh. So there's no shame in losing here. So stop dodging my attacks. <laughs> stop it. All right. Okay, so Tech Goku is back. Um, last time we took a whole lot of damage, like a ridiculous amount of damage, and there's a lot of attacks spread out. So I think we're going to have to... Usher here just to make sure that uh, we don't die to a super like we almost did last time. And then after this turn, I think I can let them like take some attacks. But yo, just seeing that super do like 288k last time and leaving us with like 40k HP, I it got me shook, man. It shook me. So we're gonna be we're gonna be a little bit more conservative here. We're gonna play a little bit more safe here. Oh damn, look at look at Scatter Vegeta 1.2 mil for his additional. That's crazy. 1.2 mil for the additional. Alright, we're we're getting there, my friends. We're just slowly, slowly working away. Slowly working away at his at his uh what do you call it? At his HP. Um I'm gonna pop a snake just so that the what do you call it? The SSBE at the end doesn't get us killed. I like how I came in here saying like, yo, I'm not gonna use all the items. You know what? And you know what? I'm still not gonna use all the items. That was the last item we're, we're popping. All right, that's the last item we're using. But uh, we almost used all the items. <laughs> I'm just too risk adverse, man. I'm always like, yo, I, I, I'm, I'm just always too scared. I'm always too concerned um, about the super. And it's not like we have a full team of stackers. So there's a few guys that like just don't take supers very well like the SSBE here, and uh, the Tech Goku and Gohan, at least before they get to about 300,000 defense, I think now they should be close. So I'm not concerned about them next turn, but you know. Anyways, we're getting there, we're getting there. We just took a super for 18 damage. Not sure if you guys noticed, 18 damage um, against the Namek Goku. That's not bad, that's not bad. Understatement, I know, but not bad, not bad. 
all right guys we're almost done here thank you so much for watching i appreciate you guys and uh once again man just stay safe out there okay stay safe out there and if you want to join me in my team bardock uh farming journey still going still ongoing we're still missing two members of course borgos and tora and uh, we're going to be continuing on Sunday when Borgos comes out, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to see the streams for the, the other members, then uh, go check out the channel as well. Fasha was first for day one, Bardock was second for day two, and uh, yesterday day three was... What do you call it? Yesterday day three was... Uh, how did I just forget? Yo, uh, we literally... Oh, Shugesh! Literally the guy we're using right now, Shugesh. Actually, it's also ongoing today too. So it was yesterday when it came out, but it's still ongoing right now for the next couple of hours. A couple of hours, if you're watching this the day it comes out. And uh, obviously, if you're watching this in the future, then it's not very relevant to you. But that's fine. You know, like, uh, just, uh, just ignore that then. I mean, they're still on the channel. Like, you can still go back to the channel and see the archives. So if you want to watch those, then enjoy. But... Yeah, guys, this should be the last turn. Unfortunately, we can't finish it off with Shugesh, which makes me kind of sad, but I mean, at the very least, it's it's over. Now we got it done. That's that's the most important part. And once again, Shugesh has uh, reasserted his dominance, his uh, position as the most powerful entity in the Dragon Ball universe. It's not Zeno. It's not any of the God of Destructions. It's not... Uh, UI Goku, MUI Goku, it's not Gogeta Blue, it's not Vegito Blue. Love all those guys, love all those characters. But they don't hold a candle to our Lord Shugesh, all right? We just gotta keep that in mind. You just gotta be aware of that. You gotta show him the respect he deserves. He deserves, he deserves a lot of respect. All right, okay, glad we're on the same page. All right, here we go. Final attack from the AGL Broly, and that is gonna do it. I think without items, just naturally, Shugesh got up to about 500,000 defense, which essentially any unit at 500,000 defense is not going to be taking a lot of damage. Unless we're talking about the new um, Extreme Super Battle Road, although I haven't really tested it out yet, but I've heard those guys hit really, really freaking hard, man. But then again, on those, on those events, you can't really stack defense that much, right? So I assume that most units don't get up to... No, three to five hundred thousand defense, um, which is why probably people are struggling a little bit. People are taking a lot of damage, but I don't have to worry about that until it comes to global, which could take many, many months. We shall see. It should have been now, though. Yeah, I'm rambling. I'm, I'm uh, going off on a tangent, but I'm, I'm, just, I'm just saying, Bandai, you should have given us the extreme super battle road at the same time on global as JP because our same day celebration is really, really lacking, man. I mean, I'm trying to stay positive. I, I really am, but sometimes you don't give us enough stuff to be positive about. And Bardock is cool, but I don't really care that much about him. That's just me. I don't. I, some people think I'm crazy. They're like, "Yo, Tiger, Bardock is awesome." I know Bardock is awesome. I love Bardock, but the unit doesn't get me that hyped. And that's just me. That's just my personal opinion. So I wish they gave us a new event to take on. We didn't get it. Bandai, step your game up, please. And there's the run, guys. Lord Shugesh doing his thing. Uh, I tried to click on him, didn't work out though. Let's go back to the main page here. And here we go. Lord Shugesh doing his thing, getting it done, destroying MUI Goku, and also being just an absolute defensive juggernaut. So there it is, guys. That is today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you think about the Fizz Shugesh. You don't really have to though, cause I know everybody's gonna be like, yo, he's awesome. He's amazing. He's the best unit in the game, maybe. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But thank you guys so much for watching, man. That is today's video. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, Hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.